हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू क्लास एट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस साइंस चैप्टर नंबर थ्री सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फाइबर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज फाइबर सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फाइबर एंड फैब्रिक इन क्लास सिक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ फाइबर वॉट इज फाइबर so a fiber is a strong and flexible thread like material it is strong and thread like material which is used to make fabric so the clothes are made up of fabric so we need fiber to make fabrics fibers are also used to make several materials like ropes nets etc so fiber is very very important so what are the different categories of fiber there are two types of fibers natural fibers or synthetic or human made fibers so what are natural fibers natural fiber means the fibers which are obtained from nature that means fibers which can be obtained from both plants and animals for example cotton fibers are obtained from cotton plant jute fibers are obtained from jute plant and wool obtained from sheep and silk is obtained from cocoons so these are the examples of plant fiber and animal fiber and together they are known as natural fiber now what is synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are also known as human made fibers as they are made through different chemical processes in the industries so they are known as human made fibers or synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are prepared using raw material of petroleum origin called petrochemicals that means synthetic fibers are prepared from the chemical which is known as petrochemicals so now how the fibers are made how the fibers are made so to understand the process of joining of or making of synthetic fibers let us do one activity we are going to take about 10 to 12 clips and join them together to make a long chain so this smaller clips are known as monomer and that long chain is known as polymer so a synthetic fiber is also a chain of smaller units which are joined together so synthetic fiber is also a chain of units so smaller units are known as monomer and the larger unit is known as polymer so now we are going to discuss about monomer and polymer so what is monomer small unit or molecule so how can we define it a monomer is a small molecule which can combine together end to end in large number to form a larger unit and what is polymer a polymer is a large unit formed by the combination of a large number of smaller molecule called monomers so the meaning of poly is many and mer means repeating units so the next point is polymerization so what is polymerization when monomers combine they form polymer and the process of making polymer with monomer is known as polymerization so how can we define it so polymerization is a process of joining together a large number of smaller molecules that is monomers and to form a very large molecules that is polymer let us take one example of cotton polymer so cotton is made up of glucose glucose is the monomer and cellulose is the polymer so cotton fiber is a polymer made up of glucose it is made up of many glucose molecules monomers or molecules now we are going to discuss how the monomers are linked how the monomers are linked to form polymers so there there are two ways first is linear polymers and second is cross linked polymers 
so in linear polymers the monomers are linked in a linear manner that means they are arranged in a straight line as it is clear from the diagram monomer are arranged in a linear manner cross linked polymer mein in cross linked polymer the monomers are cross linked to each other they are not arranged linearly they are cross linked so it is known as cross linkage polymer so now there are we are going to study about the types of synthetic fibers so human made fibers are known as synthetic fibers so some synthetic fibers we are going to discuss is rayon nylon polyester and acrylic fiber so now we are going to discuss with rayon so it is a synthetic fiber prepared from wood pulp it resembles silk in appearance and also called as artificial silk very very important for one word question it is also known as artificial silk one more name is there it is also known as regenerated fiber so now why it is known as regenerated fiber because it is reformed from original cellulose fibers because it is reformed from original cellulose fibers it is very very comfortable it is very comfortable to wear during summer as it can absorb sweat that's why it is very popular so what are the uses of rayon first of all it is used in textile industries it is used to make bed sheet dresses caps etc it is used to make carpets it is used to make bandages and lints second type of synthetic fiber is nylon so it is the first fully synthetic fiber made by humans and it is also a polymer prepared by amide molecules see the diagram lots of amide molecules after polymerization they have made they are they have formed polyamide so monomers are amide and uh, polyamide is polymer so what are the properties of nylon it is very strong lustrous highly elastic very fine lightweight easy to wash wrinkle free so due to the properties due to the property of high tensile strength or as nylon is very strong it is used for making fishing nets climbing ropes parachute fibers and many other things it is also used in the production of textile materials and other garments it is when wool blended with nylon it is used to make carpets socks etc now another is polyester polyester is made by a chemical called as ester so examples are terulene and dacron so terulene when combines with cotton it forms terricot and when terulene combines with wool it forms terry wool polyester is light in weight strong elastic absorb little amount of water and it is wrinkle free so what are the uses of polyester used for manufacturing dress materials curtains etc making sails for sailboats it is also used for making water hoses for fire fighting operations used for making shirts trousers and other dress materials and terry wool is used for making suits and the last synthetic fibers we are going to discuss is acrylic fiber so what is acrylic fiber so acrylic fiber is a synthetic fiber made from a polymer acrylic fiber is light in weight soft and warm with a wool like feel so due to the wool like feeling it is used to make sweater shawls blankets jackets etc as the wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive these acrylic fibers are very very popular as they are cheap 
so now we are going to discuss about advantages of synthetic fibers so what are the advantages of synthetic fiber uh, why the synthetic fibers are so popular so first advantage of synthetic fiber is high tensile strength synthetic fibers are very strong and have high tensile strength as they can hold large weight without breaking that means they are very very strong second is low water absorption synthetic fibers absorb very little amount of water due to this a wet cloth of synthetic fibers dries out rapidly and this property of synthetic fiber is known as drip dry property it is known as this called drip dry property as synthetic fibers dries quickly next property is good elasticity most of the synthetic fibers are elastic and flexible as they can be stretched or compressed to some extent on releasing the force applied they regain their original shape and size as we have seen in the case of socks after using again and again they always maintain their shape due to good elasticity another is wrinkle resistance most synthetic fibers do not get crushed during washing or wearing that means they do not need ironing again and again they are wrinkle free and keep permanent crease another is abrasion resistance abrasion resistance means most of the synthetic fibers have a wear and tear resistance that means they are wear and tear resistant so the clothes made up of synthetic fibers are long lasting they are long lasting or durable another is moth resistance most of the synthetic fibers are not attacked by moths and mouths so they are moth resistant synthetic next is light weight synthetic fibers are quite light weight next property is inertness so what is the meaning of inertness children it is the quality of being unreactive that means synthetic fibers are mostly unreactive then the last point is less expensive so synthetic fibers are cheaper or they are less expensive than natural fibers so not only they have advantages but they have some disadvantages also so now we are going to discuss what are the disadvantages of synthetic fibers so the first disadvantage is melt and burn easily synthetic fibers catch fire so and after catching fire they shrink to form beads which stick to the skin that means synthetic clothes form beads on burning that's why it is not advised to use synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or near the fire as they form beads and beads stick to the body another is non biodegradable synthetic fibers are non biodegradable therefore they cause soil pollution another is uncomfortable during summer why they are not comfortable during summer because they cannot absorb moisture so in hot and humid weather when we sweat the sweat is trapped between the fabric and the skin and therefore the synthetic fabric stick to the body when the body sweats and make the wearer uncomfortable and the last one is causes skin problems the fibers made from synthetic fibers tends to develop static electricity in dry weather the spark due to static electricity can be seen at night sometimes when we undress during night we can see sparks these sparks may cause skin disease in some people